Hello and welcome to a new episode of Midwest Kayak Angler. Today we're going to actually open up uh, the new January um, Six Sense box. I get the uh, Super Six uh, tailored uh, bag. Um, I'm just starting uh, I think my next three months and I have changed a little bit uh, looking for more boat specific I guess uh, lures this time and some that were not just for muddy water because I, the lake that I live on is fairly murky but uh, I'm going to start uh, traveling once a new trailer gets here so I got a little bit more on the bait selection this time um, we'll go ahead and uh, get this thing started see what we have and uh, if you like what you see here uh, feel free to like the video and feel free to subscribe so let's get into it looks like they're keeping with last month's change by going with a blue velvet bag this month a nice bag. I guess it's nice to get something besides the standard black bag every once in a while. Let's start with this uh, fairly slick little uh, jerk bait. As usual, nice, uh, nice hardware. Really interesting uh, decoration there on the eyes. Do a lot of jerk bait uh, here in our region, and um, they always come in really handy. So glad to see one of those in here. And then we got a big guy here. This guy, uh, he's heavy and he's uh, quite quite a lure. It's uh, I guess it's their mid-size, a little bit smaller than their Magnum, but uh, still pretty substantial when it really comes down to it. Nice color, I mean, highly visible. I guess that's uh, very important. Same hardware, or larger hardware, but uh, the same quality. Good stuff, you know, nothing to complain about there. Looks actually right, quite nice. And then we got this guy. I, I, I'm almost positive I've already had one of these in my kit before, but I've just kind of re-upped. I did like the three month, so maybe they don't keep uh, all that accurate records of that, but I'm pretty sure I've had this one, the exact one before. I'll have to look at it again and see if I do happen to have that one in the collection. And then we got uh, Swim Bay Head. This one, um, you know, the level of detail on this is, is ridiculous. The jig head here. Um, Nice paint job, nice eyes, good stuff. I mean, this is um pretty impressive, really, the quality that goes into these. And then a jig, a swim jig here. Again, it's a you know, nice hardware, um, great paint job, great eyes. You know, quite impressive looking when it really comes down to it. Um, bright colors, a little bit bright probably for my lake in the backyard but it'll do well on some of the other lakes around me that are a bit deeper and less weedy and murky how about a uh, swim bait I, I like their swim baits uh, i like most swim baits they all tend to work really well for me these uh nice big floppy tail very soft got the reset for the hook and it'll go perfectly onto our uh, swim bait head there looks like this one is 3.8 inch 3.8 inch bluegill fire uh, it's a nice color. It's not one that I have. It's got a lot of orange fleck, blue fleck, some black fleck. Um, it's it's interesting. We'll see how well it fishes. You know, when we get back to something resembling fishing weather outside. And finally, I think we have uh, a little bit of uh, the Clout 5.4 inch. Um, another one that has a lot of different flecks in it. A lot of different colors. This one's called Melon Flash 10 pack. Um, you know, it'll obviously come in useful because I tend to use uh, quite a bit of uh, kind of the finesse bait that we need to use here in uh, Midwest to interest the bass. I think that's it for this kit. Um, hopefully uh, the next one will be my re-up and then I'll start getting uh, some of the swag that comes along the shirts, hats, glasses, whatever they throw in there instead of lures because I am starting to uh, run out of space to store all the lures, getting monster bass, mystery tackle box, six cents. I, I get a lot of stuff and then I just typically buy a lot of stuff from the store as well. So starting to get maybe a few more uh, accessories and less lures uh, because I haven't even been able to fish 90% of the things that have come in over the last six months. So probably need to uh, slow down a bit on that front. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to like and or subscribe if you did enjoy what you watched. Uh, we'll be back uh, probably next time with another opening or maybe some more work on the uh, Hobie getting it prepped for next season.